Hey YouTube, um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to change the automatic transmission fluid in a 2016 through 2019 Camaro SS with the automatic transmission that's the 8 speed. Um, these 8 speeds are notorious for having issues uh, with the V8 to V4 um, shutter that's caused by a buildup of automatic transmission shavings into the torque converter causing uh, excessive vibration. This happens to every single one of the GM vehicles that have eight speed transmissions. I have two Escalades, a 15 and a 17, and this Camaro, and they all suffer from that same issue. Um, the only way to fix it is to constantly change out the uh, ATF fluid. There is a very good YouTube video uh, by Weber Auto. They teach you a very in-depth in way to do this. I'm just gonna show you how I do it from start to finish. Um, this, I want to make a note, a very important note, this new blue bottle here is the latest formula. It was released in January of 2019. I have not used this one. I stocked up on the previous one and it looks like this. So if anybody's trying to sell you the black labeled one, don't buy it. Uh, this was discontinued because uh, GM had found out that even though Mobile made One made improvements to the old AC Delco, LV ATF HP fluid. This one was still breaking down because it was too hydroscopic. It was taking in too much water over time. So this is a new improved formula. It just came out in 2019. This is what you need to be adding into any GM car with the eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, so let's get started. I have a I have an, a huge supply of this new one because I have three cars with the eight-speed. So I would suggest you get at least ten quarts. Better be made, uh, better get more to be uh, safe than sorry. I don't remember exactly how much ATF fluids in this Camaro. Uh, we were only doing a pan drop. I, I don't even bother uh, doing the whole flush. I just pan drop. I changed the filter and the gasket. And that's what I've been doing with all the cars. And I'm going to do this car 15,000 miles uh, later again. Or I might even do it in an early interview, interval to flush out more of that old fluid out. Um, maybe I'll just give it another 5,000 miles and switch it out. So that way I'll have a 75% total change of ATF fluid. Over time, I'll, I'll continue changing out more. Um, but I have other cars to do and other cars to worry about at this moment. But this one, this Camaro, the 17 Camaro, it is suffering from the, uh, I've done the ATF fluid change at 2,000 miles and at 10,000 miles, I can feel the vibration coming back. I didn't feel anything until 10,000 miles. So it's back, it needs to be uh, fixed. So let's walk through this uh, procedure. Uh, jacks. I, uh, I use a Ranger Quick Jack, so I'm going to try to show you guys. I'm sorry, I'm using a GoPro chest mount, so this might not look as good. Um, but I do have lift points. There's another video that I have, and I have lift points um, using the ZL1 uh, lift points from ZL1 add-ons, I think that's the website name, and they go on the pinch wells there, and at that point over there. So you can check out my other video. It goes in detail on how it's added, uh, how it's put on the car. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this car. I apologize early on, I'm using a chest mount so it might be very difficult to look at this, but right now my head is positioned to where it's, it's uh, pointing towards the trunk. This is a transmission pan right here that my hand is touching. Um, this is very easy, the Camaro doesn't have any in, uh, exhaust manifold that's covering the transmission pan. All the Denali's and Escalades will, will have that issue, Silverado's, any full size truck will have this um, exhaust manifold coming across, but the Camaro is very simple, it doesn't. The pan is here, and then if you look on the side here, there is actually, wait, my finger is pointing to it, there's actually a little transmission drain and fill port right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, let me see if I can get a better angle here for you guys. Turn the light down possibly, it's ruining the view. Hope it's not, let me see here. Okay, so you're gonna take a little tool here and you're gonna, you're gonna pop that, push it up and pull it out with your fingers. It looks like this. Set that aside. 
And now is the time that we need to drain the fluid. And draining the fluid is a whole day, a whole 24 hour process. So um, basically I'm going to uh, take the evacuator, stick the tube in and literally drain this vehicle for 24 hours. Reason being, you got a lot of ATF fluid stuck up in the automatic transmission housing. It's got to drip down slowly. It's going to take a long time. I believe from my memory, I got six or seven quarts out. The Escalade, I always get about seven and a half. I have a full video on that one, um, but let's go ahead and, and start evacuating. So you're gonna loop it around. There's an O2 sensor there. And you're just gonna kind of stick the tubing up and down into the transmission pan. Right. So you're gonna let your fluid evacuate for 24 hours. Um, after that's done, we'll come back and finish up the rest of the steps. It's pretty straightforward from then on out. You can see this fluid is very dark in color, so it's burnt. I think it's pretty much gone. Uh, it would explain the excessive vibration. It's gonna, I think it's going to really make a big difference once I put that new fluid in. It always does, honestly. From my experience, it always makes a huge difference. The car becomes way smoother, so we'll come back tomorrow. But well, not 24 hours. It's been overnight, and I'm going to give it some pumps and just you know, let's see how much more comes out. Um, so it's had enough time to drip into the pan. Let's go for it. So right now we're just a little bit under the five liter mark. Let's see if it goes any higher than five liters. And then I'll go to work, come back and pump it again. So I'm back from work and we're going to pump this a little bit more. I actually pumped it just now. Um, I forgot to turn the camera on, but nothing came, not much more ATF fluid came out. So I think 12 hours is sufficient really to get most of it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the pan and I'm going to use this to suck whatever residuals up in the pan. We're going to clean the pan. We're going to reinstall the new gasket, put a new filter in, reinstall the new gasket and begin filling it up. So right now about 5.7 liters have come out. Okay, so the next step is to take the transmission uh, <coughs> pan off. It's really simple on the Camaro. You want to get some napkins handy close by. We can remove the extractor line. The line is out. Let's start removing this. And then you want to get kind of away from the transmission pan because there's going to be some AT fluid dripping out. Last bolt. Use your hand to prop it up. And then drop it down. Napkins handy. Because if you're going to pull the filter, you're going to grab on the filter and just going to pull straight down. And you're going to get fluid dripping out, so just be careful. 
Oh, there's a little, there we go. Drip, drip, drip. Put it back into the pan. Try to stay as clean as possible. Okay, so bring your place the filter. This little pin right here is gonna line up. With, there's a hole right here, so just make sure these line up when you push it in. All right, and your new filter is installed. And let's go work on the pan. Make sure you clean up your workspace a little bit. Nasty ass filter baggy. I'm gonna reuse this gasket. These gaskets are reusable according to the service manual, but I have a bunch. I just don't, this is fine. Looks, looks good. There's no point in changing this. Wow. See the ruby red? It's not that deep, dark black color, which smells burnt as well. Just gonna loop your gasket up a little bit. Do, 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 do. go. That's a perfect lineup. Perfect lineup. Let's get these started. And then when you put these back on, you want to go in a, there's actually a, um, um, owner's, the owner's man says the exact order to do it. I don't, I just zigzag it and you shouldn't have an issue. 
you just zigzag it. I've done it to multiple cars now. And I have not had a problem. So um, these, just loosely put them on there because we have to put them to, I believe it's nine Newton meters. Very, very, very small amount of torque uh, that goes on these bolts. Seven. I think I might do, I'm gonna put a little bit more than seven and a half because I know some residuals, this, this part doesn't actually go to the, or I'm sorry, this tube doesn't go to the very bottom. So sometimes there's a little bit of residuals that I can't get out. I'm gonna put a tad bit more in there. Do a tad bit. I have to pair film this one up, so put, let's put this a little bit more. Let's put half of this. There we go. All right, let's just fill it up all the way. I got ETF fluid all over myself. Let's do it from this way, maybe. Let's do it like this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Open. Uh oh. Let's make sure it stays. Don't fall on me. Well, you can see it's moving anyway. Uh, sorry if the camera angle is bad, but you can see it going down from the mighty vac. So we know it's working. Just gotta wait. And I'm pushing the mighty back to the side because like I said, the tube that sucks the liquid from the bottom doesn't hit, reach the bottom all the way. So you kind of have to, there's always some leftover in there. So I added a little bit more ATF fluid. So some bubbles are starting to come. Some more bubbles. I'm about to stop it soon, slow it down. I hate the bubbles. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, 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 nope, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so yeah, a little bit left over in there. But we are done here. Let's take it out. Hua. Come on out, buddy. Okay. Let's reinstall. This cap.
Yeah, there we go. Okay. So here is the fun part. We're gonna check the automatic transmission fluid level. Uh, after filling it back up, you're gonna want something to drain it in. Remember, I put about seven point, I took out 6.3. I think I put around seven in there because there's still residual left in the, in, the, in the fluid filler. And so what we're gonna do, it has to be between 131 and 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm gonna start the Camaro, let it idle, and use the TFT screen to calculate that temperature range. Uh, it'd be better if you could use a te uh, some kind of diagnostic tool. I don't have one for a GM, so it's gonna use a TFT screen. I don't like the, the Camaros because it comes in a, it gives you as a bar graph. Like, it, it's, you'll see it. I mean, it's, it's, it comes in, I mean, if you have a Camaro, you know, like, it doesn't give you a solid number. It just kind of gives you a digital gauge. I hate that because the Escalades give you a, a solid number. It's much easier to work with. But basically, you're gonna turn the car on, let it idle, get it to the temperature range, go from park, reverse, neutral, uh, drive back to and cycle through the gears back again and then you're gonna leave the car running undrain the drain bolt let it dribble out until it comes to droplets and close it and you're at the right you're at the right fluid level so pretty simple I mean it's not it's not a complicated procedure I'm going to open my garage because I don't want to die from carbon monoxide poisoning and let's get this party started I guess make sure it's secure tightly in your jack stands. Get inside your car. Oh, 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 Eloise, come here. Sorry. My garage, my gate's open. Don't want my dog getting away. Okay, so get in your car. Start it. So while the Camaro is on and trying, I'm trying to get it to the correct, uh, fluid temperature for the transmission, I'm gonna go ahead and read you the procedures. It says, for CTSV and LT1 Camaro, if running a track session, should have the transmission fluid level checked when the transmission fluid temperature is between 131 and 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Step one, observe the TMT using the driver information center, DIC, or a scan tool. Start and idle the engine. Depress the brake pedal and move the shift lever through each gear range, pause for at least three seconds in each range, move to park, move the shift lever to park, ensure the engine RPM is low, between 500 and 800 RPM. Allow the engine to build idle for at least one minute. Remove the transmission oil check plug from the transmission pan, allow any fluid to drain. If the fluid is flowing as a steady stream, wait till the fluid begins to drip. If no fluid comes out, add fluid until the drip, until it drips out. That's the whole procedure. Uh, so let's check the, I'm gonna check the uh, temperature level now. Okay, you can see we're almost there. The red lines are almost to the bar that we wanna be at to check it, very close. So I'm gonna put the camera down and get ready to turn the GoPro on and show you me cycling through the gears, getting under the car where the car's on, taking the drain plug out and letting it come to a dribble. Okay, so it took about 20 minutes for the car to get to temperature. We're gonna cycle through, park. One, two, three in reverse. One, two, three in neutral. One, two, three in drive. Back to park. Crawl into the car with the car on. Grab a drain. You don't have much time to work. Remember that, work quickly. Let it drain till it comes to a dribble. I'm gonna go ahead and replug it because the temperature might have risen too high already. So, let me 
go check. No, we're good still, so... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. At a dribble there. So now that we're finished, I just wanna say one important thing. Um, the reason why I like to measure how much food comes out is that you kinda get an idea about how much you gotta put back in. I told you guys earlier in the video that I took out 6.3 liters, um, but I put back, I, I filled the, the actual fill bottle with 7.5 liters of transmission fluid. So you can see about, when I did the uh, fill check, probably about 800 milliliters came out. Um, so next time I know, I could have saved myself a bottle of, uh, of ATF fluid. Um, pretty much what comes out, if you put the exact same amount back in, you're gonna be pretty darn close to the correct level. Uh, so you can see more, more than enough came out. Uh, obviously I added too much, but it's okay. Um, I think it's easier to put a little bit more in and drain it out than to you know, get the carpet temperature, turn it back off, fill the uh, ATF fluid filler back up, and then put it back into the transmission. Just, it's a pain in the ass, so. Um, but yeah, that concludes this video. I hope this kind of helps. Uh, you know, I'm no expert, I'm no GM tech. This is just how I've been doing it on the three vehicles that we have that are eight-speed automatic transmissions. Um, uh, I would highly suggest if you do this to just be very careful, especially if you have a car in jack stands. You know, when you're turning a car on and getting under it while it's on is, is generally not the best idea, but you have to do it for this procedure. Um, and yeah, I hope this helps. Thanks, guys.